A statewide endangered child alert is still active for a four year old girl missing out of Dixon County. The TBI says Kaylin Turnbow was last seen with her father and there is concern for her safety. But her father's family says there's another side to the story. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb has the latest from Dixon County. In the small town of Sladen in Dixon County today, there are still a lot of questions about the disappearance of four year old Kaylin Turnbow. Her grandmother says she may be with her dad who's trying to keep custody of her. But today her dad's family came to his defense. The TBI issued an endangered child alert for Kaylin Turnbow that's still active today, saying she may be with her father, Jason Bradford. Kaylin's grandmother says Bradford no longer has custody of her. I'm just greatly concerned with all the chaos that she's been thrown into. Uh, praying that I know her father loves her, that he's, he will do the right thing and he will bring her back. The family says Kaylin was last seen with her grandmother last Sunday. Kaylin has been paralyzed from the waist down ever since a car accident along this road back in November that killed her mother. Meanwhile, today Bradford's family came to his defense. That my uncle is a very good father and he has taken very good care of that baby since this accident has happened. She is not in harm. He has never, nor would he ever put her in harm. Bradford's niece says she doesn't know where he is, that she last saw him a few days ago. But she says if Kaylin's with him, there's nothing to worry about. I'm not sure, but I know, I know that if she's, she's safe, I know that. But Kaylin's grandmother says she wants more assurances. She wants to see Kaylin back home safe. Stand up, bring her back, work this all out through the legal system and do the right thing. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. The TBI says the last time Kaylin was seen was more than a month ago, back on April 4th. But again, Kaylin's family disputes that, saying she was seen as recently as last week with her grandmother.